Let's say I believe you. That Miller is innocent. Where do we go from here, and... What other leads do we have, hmm? Let's find out if Faye really exists. Or existed. I have the date she appeared, and the name of the agency she may have rented a car from. Sound good? Weren't you not going to interfere with my work? Thanks for the night out, Sheriff. Good night, Doctor. Good morning. How are you doing? Oh, don't worry about her. Come up. <laughs> My aunt just heard about the kind of therapy we're doing and that it's not going too bad. <laughs> She's never been a huge fan of shrinks, you know. She's kind of a sore loser, but she'll definitely get over it. Though, she seemed pleased with you up until now. Did you walk there from your bed by yourself? Or did she help you? My aunt? No. I didn't do it alone, though. Ah, uh, that's how you fix things, by offering to help me, over and over again. But... But do I deserve that help? Huh? Do I deserve it? Don't I deserve to rot in jail? Hmm? Or an insane asylum? Or, or maybe...
Maybe I should have jumped off a bridge. I'm dangerous. It'd be better for everybody. You're not dangerous, Ed. And yes, you deserve all the help I have to offer you. The sheriff is out to get me. I don't blame him. Faye, Jenny, Samuel, Esther. I believe you, Ed. Faye isn't a figment of your imagination. Neither is Jenny. Tell me all about Faye. Even the smallest details could help, all right? Why don't we just... get that spiral going and... spare us my lies? Hmm? We need to know what you remember so we can understand why you forget. After that one night together, she disappeared, like she'd never existed. Hello? No last name, no number, no message, no address. Just her wine glass. Mm. Mm -hmm. You're gonna love this. I still haven't washed it. Funny, huh? As if it... Blah. Were you expecting her to come back? I'd thought she'd gone to get her car, or to town, or even to the doctor. I was hoping she'd come back, I guess. But something much better happened. Remember that thing I said about looking out the window, focusing on something, and, and letting my fingers free write? Yes, I believe the day you met Faye, you'd chosen... Mm, A tree? Huh. <laughs> Who's got the bad memory now? I chose a flock of birds. Starting that day, I made it into a routine. Some days, something interesting would come out of it. Most others, nothing would. But I decided that my next book would be a collection of short stories or vignettes in the style of Bierce or Kafka. New book? How is it coming? I'll tell you later.
a little over a month ago. About a year uh, since Faye's first visit. I thought it was Samuel. We've been playing a lot of chess, and we're supposed to pick up a game we started the night before. What did you think when you saw her? I didn't think it was her, just someone who looked like her. But it wasn't the case. Her name is Jenny. She's your daughter. It wasn't surprising to you? that she had the same name as your sister? Yeah, but it's not an unusual name. And so, <laughs> guess what she told me, Doctor? She said it was up to you whether you acknowledged paternity? Exactly. She said she was sure I was the father. That it would have been unfair not to tell me. That she didn't need my help or my money. But if I recognized her as my daughter, I could be in her life. And if you decide not to, it's fine. We'll leave right now and you'll never see us again. But call us a taxi, please. You didn't call one, did you? You're on a roll, Doctor. And so, I looked at Jenny. I guess it goes without saying that I've never felt emotional around babies. But she reminded me so much of my sister that, I don't know, I felt something. Of course, I didn't give Faye an answer. I was confused and I told her I needed time to give me a few days. I said they could stay with me instead of at a motel. After that first night, did anything ever happen again between you two? No, no. I don't know. It was all so strange, as if we were suddenly 20 years older. It would have been hard for me to see her that way. Not to mention how efficient we were the first time.
You didn't let Faye and Jenny stay in the main house? There's just my room there. About ten years ago, when I moved back in, Aunt Claire started visiting me a lot. So I converted the old garage into a guest house. My aunt is better if kept at a safe distance. Did she tell you why she disappeared that first night? Did she apologize? No, and I didn't ask her to. You have any idea how many times I've done that? <laughs> <laughs> I've got the gist of it. Did she tell you anything about her life? Apparently, she was about to start a master's in something like what you did, I guess. But she had to hit the brakes because of her pregnancy. Only child, father a widower, pretty well off, pretty old and hoping for grandkids. Did Faye do anything strange? Anything that took you aback? Uh, no. She spent the whole day with the baby, taking care of her, playing. <laughs> it sounds dumb, but I was even a little jealous. We're all dumb. She never told you her last name? No last name, no address. I would have told the police. I didn't ask her for her number either. She never left the house that whole time and... <laughs> I guess we were past that stage by that point. How long were they here? I've been thinking back on it these days and... I'd say it was exactly three weeks. They got here on a Sunday, and as you know, they disappeared on a Sunday. Are you okay? Do you want to take a break? No. When you slept together the first night, she said she was on birth control, didn't she? Did you talk about it afterwards? She was sure she hadn't skipped a single day. But, of course, no method is 100% effective. A young girl... Single, with an unwanted pregnancy. She didn't think about getting an abortion? She told me that she was going to at first, 
but after a few days, <laughs> I think I get it. Anyway, the first two weeks felt good, but then things got warped, like my head started to rebel. Like if it was pissed off that I was doing well. Wake up, Eddie. Wake up. Why'd you do it, sweetie? Mom? It was Dad. He meant to. We're doomed because of you, sweetie. You're no better than him. Was it a recurring nightmare? Every night. Always the same message. And the days weren't much better. I'd wake up exhausted, couldn't focus on anything. For years I hadn't thought about them constantly. I hadn't relived their deaths over and over again. Until... Ed! 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 Huh? Jenny's temperature is 103.6. Huh? There's a first aid kit in your bathroom cabinet. It should have everything. Did you check if there was any Advil? She's a baby, Ed. Let's go to the hospital. Get dressed. 
I'm unlocking your car. I'll wait for you in there. Why'd you take so long? I wasn't about to leave in my pajamas. You take that long to change? <sighs> okay, sorry. I'm just stressed out. There. Ugh, no. I'll get them. Don't worry. And that's it? Until I woke up on the bridge. Yeah. It was like another one of my nightmares. It's clear as day that my car plunged down into the canyon, that the truck driver found me on the bridge, but what I remember seeing... is my dad once again choosing to abandon me. I tried to reach him without him noticing me, but... No! No! Well, we both know what I remember. Should we try what I forget?
Wake up, Eddie. Wake up. Why'd you do it, sweetie? Do you remember what time you went to bed that night? Around 11? Very early for me, but I was exhausted. Focus on your sister's face, please. Is there anything unusual about it? Her eyes... they're brown. It had always been blue. And do you remember what color Faye's baby's eyes are? Brown. Focus on your mother's face, please. Focus on her and tell me what you see. She has face face. She's my mom. Can you see anything unusual outside? No, there's nothing weird. The moon, the stars, the lake, everything's normal. Nothing missing. Or extra. Nothing. Is there anything odd about the bathroom? Anything out of place? No. Everything is normal. Are those the clothes you were wearing that day? Yes. The exact same ones? The exact same ones.
Can you make out your father's features? He's really far away. Are you sure those tire marks were made by your car? Could be. Next to the marks, are there any footprints? No, the ground is really dry. Focus on your feelings, on your body. It's weird. I'm exhausted and at the same time full of energy. My head hurts, my neck, my eyes feel heavy and tired. Do you recognize your father, his face? His back is to me. And his body? He looks a little shorter. So? So? <laughs> what did I tell you? Doctor, you're scaring me. Julia? When we dream, we lose some of the details. We, we see certain things extremely clearly, but the rest tend to be out of focus. You remember very concrete details, including the exact time down to the minute. Doing the math, the first time you dreamt about your mother, you should have been in stage two of NREM sleep. The probability of dreaming in that during that phase is minimal. Am I supposed to be understanding something of all that? <laughs> 